Hey there, this is Akshit Madan and welcome back to part 7 of complete pandas tutorial and in this video we are going to see two most important functions in panda that is loc that is lock which we can say as location and ilock that is index location ilock right so without wasting more time if you are new on this channel you can like my videos and subscribe to my channel so let's go to the coding part so let's first understand what is loc that is location right so we will uh, use this sample2.csv and don't worry the data set is provided in the link in the description you can check that out so this is sample2.csv which contains roll numbers then section branch physics chemistry maths computer and date of birth of the students right and don't focus on these hashtags they will be encoded uh, like this only and um, but when you will uh, run your df.head that means the data frame then it will be uh, loaded correctly right so first of all, I'm going to import pandas. Then I'm going to read my CSV. You have to provide the location. And yes, if you are using Google Colab, then you can't just write your C drive location, right? You have to upload that data set on Colab and then you have to write that location, not this one. I have seen many of my uh, uh, subscribers that they are uh, contacting me and telling me that their uh, output is not correct. And I, when I see them, they I see that uh, the collab in collab they are using the c drive location right so don't do that silly mistake okay so next thing is uh, df.head so when i see it i can see that first five rows of my data set right now i want to see the location at one now what is the difference between loc and iloc right so these are the two different functions right so loc gives you the location according to your this index right so as you can see i'm using the index column as roll number i have written this parameter right so after reading it's uh, reading the csv and providing the path i have provided one more parameter that is index call index col right so this means if you want to change your index with a column in your data set so i want to replace my index that is as you can see index starts from zero but now here the index starts from one why because i have made my index as my roll number so now roll number column has become the index Right, so that's why this uh, index is replaced by the roll number. Right, so if I run this df dot loc one, then it is going to return me the row which is at index one according to this roll number. Otherwise, this index one is at this. Right, index one is not this. Index one is this according to a general uh, way of uh, considering the index. Right, because we are because I have made my roll number only as my index, then it is going to see this number right so one is my index now it doesn't start from zero now right that side gives me this row like uh, first section a section then branch is cs then physics marks is 56 so it is going to provide me the data for the row one according to this row number right one now in the same way df.loc5 then it is going to return me this row right because this is index 5 according to uh, loc now right now, if I go further, I can see that I can also provide an array of uh, rows, array of the indexes. So, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, it is going to provide me all the data about this five, uh, four row numbers, right? So, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now, I can also uh, see the data of, of any one column or any two different columns, right? So, I want to see the physics marks for fifth row number. So, I can see it. That fifth uh, fifth row number is this one and physics marks are 23 so like this 23 marks so i can see the data of one column also like this i can see the data of one column for different rows so i want to see uh, chemistry marks for fifth row number to 15th row number so i can see over here fifth row number to 15th row number i can see the chemistry marks right so like this this is the significance of loc that you can also um, uh explore the data set in this way right you can explore different different columns for different different rows right now i want to so this is the most important part of loc that you can also distribute your data like this if i want to see my data set the physics marks whose roll number are only less than 50 so I, all, all the now all those roll numbers will be printed whose physics marks are less than 50 as you can see all the physics marks are here less than 50 right because only those roll numbers are printed who have got less than 50 marks in physics so like this only those roll numbers are printed who have got more than 80 marks in physics like this so this is the beauty of loc function right uh, how i am exploring my data set i can see only those students who have got so much good marks or only those students who have uh, got the least marks like less than 50 marks like this right now i want to see only the maths marks 
but only of those roll numbers who have got more than 80 marks right so i want what i'm doing i want to see the max marks of those students who have got more than 80 marks in physics so this is the syntax what i'm doing df dot loc that means df dot location df at physics is greater than 80 so this is the condition what is this this is a condition that show only those roll numbers who have got more than 80 marks but only show the maths marks right like this so only show the maths marks so i can see that these are the students who have got more than 80 marks and these are the maths marks of those students right i hope you are clear with this loc i think that if you will practice more you will uh, get a good idea about loc now let's move on to iloc which is nothing but index location now this is not going to consider the uh, location uh, as per your roll number right so I, as i can see that here roll number was one so this is index one for loc but now this will be index zero for iloc right because this is index location it is not going to consider your roll number as your index it is going to consider the normal way only like index will start from zero so over here if i want to see the first row of my data set this is the first row uh, section a branch cs physics 56 like this if i want to see that uh, row uh, using iloc then i have to provide zero only i don't have to provide one because that is the syntax for loc in loc you provide the index value for that because here, there we were making our roll number as as my index but here it is going to consider zero only as your first index right so if i want to see the first row i have to provide zero so this is the difference between loc and iloc right okay so df i df dot iloc zero it will give you the first row now you can also provide this was the syntax if i want to see only one uh, row data right so it is giving me all the columns data for my first row right like physics marks 56 chemistry marks 57 but i can also provide an array of the uh, rows indexes right so what i'm doing if i provide an array inside array or list inside a list then you can provide zero you can provide one you can provide two like this right so if I, were, uh, if I will run it, then it is not going to show you in this format. It is going to show you all the rows like this. It is going to show you that data frame format only, right? So I can see over here, like it is showing me the, that part of the data set of only those indexes that I've provided. So zero index will be this roll number now. One index will be this second. Second index will be third roll number, right? So like this, the general way of indexing, right? Now, if I want to see all the rows, of the first column which which is my first column my first column is section column right so what is the syntax i want to see all the rows of the first column for the first column you have to provide zero only right because columns indexing will also start from zero right if i want to see the first column that is section i have to start from zero right so it is giving me the uh, sections of all the row numbers right so all the rows and only the first column is printed now what is this print all the rows of the first column not the first this is index one of the second column now which, which is my second column my second column is the branch of the student right so this is giving me all the rows and the second column that you can also interpret as the first index column right perfect now i hope you are getting clear with what is loc what is iloc what is index how you start indexing i hope you are getting clear now what is this df.iloc 0 to 5 that means 0 1 2 three and four so these are the five rows that you have to print and only the first index column that means your second column your branch column right so what what it will uh, what it will print it will print the roll number from one to five because roll number is starting from one not zero but our index starts from zero so zero one two three four index and one two three four five roll number and the first or you can say the second column that is your branch will be printed for these five roll numbers now what is this zero to five that means first five roll numbers but only the three columns from first index column to third index column so what is my first index column it is the branch right and second index column is physics third index column is chemistry okay just give me one more idea to you right so this is my index right this is index zero section is at index zero branch is at index one physics is at index two chemistry is at index three and so on right and according to the index say for the rows this is index 0 this is not index 1 right this is index 1 this is index 2 this is index 3 right this is index 4 like this so i hope you are clear with this what is an index so what is the difference with, between loc and iloc loc takes your this index only the column which you have made the index right so for uh, loc this will be index 1 this will be index 2 this will be index 3 and so on 
but for i l see this will be index 0 this will be index 1 this will be index 2 this will be index 3 right so this is a difference between loc and iolc i hope i have made clear to it and if you have any doubts you can reach out to me on my telegram channel it's open to you so i think this much is enough for this video till the next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot